Well, I'm Christian Buck, uh, one of the co-owners here at Cascade Pizzico. Um, I oversee a lot of operations and kind of quality control. My yeah. name is Calvin Freeman. I'm one of the co-owners of Cascade Pizzico. I do operations, quality control, similar to Christian. Um, help with finance, logistics, back-end work, expansion. Um, just having a ton of fun. Janitorial work as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and, and where are you guys located, by the yeah. way? So, so we have uh, two uh, brick-and-mortar stores currently at Edomclaw in Maple Valley, Washington. We are opening our third brick-and-mortar in Bellevue, Washington this summer, which we're very excited for, and we currently have four mobile food trucks. Yeah. Okay. Now, tell me, because you guys operate such different sides of the business, and you have, uh, so it's three in your partnerships, right, with, mm -hmm. with Cascadia. Mm -hmm. um, kind of how do you balance that load? between the three of you in you know in your ownership roles yeah well uh kind of a uh you know jack of all trades master of none right so <laughs> right. We, there's a lot that's of different me. things <laughs> yeah that's right there's a lot of different things that all of us do you know um obviously you know i focus on on operations um cal as well we kind of tag team that yeah um and obviously tom who's off camera he does a lot of our back end stuff along with cal as well yeah um so yeah as we've grown we've kind of been you know splitting roles a lot and that's been that's been something that's new to us as we're figuring it out mm -hmm. um and we're you know we're growing really fast so we're, we're experiencing those yeah. things very quickly. Yeah, because how long have you guys been open? We've been in business since 2015. Um, okay. We started off as one small catering trailer, really. Um, and then we had opportunity to get our first full-time food truck in 2017. Mm -hmm. um, and then we opened our first brick and mortar in Enumclaw, Washington in 2019. Um, and so, yeah, we've been going since about 2015 and, uh, and continue to open stores. Okay. So, awesome. So. That's cool. Okay, uh, so we're here at Pizza Beautiful. Expo, right? Beautiful. You got a view right here. This <laughs> yeah, is gorgeous. We do, and it is a packed show for us. Yeah, it it's is. It's so fun to watch right now. Um, so what what kinds of things are you guys really jazzed about with the show this year? Like, what are mm -hmm. you looking for to make your restaurant better right now? What kinds of things, not necessarily brands, but what kinds of things are you looking for? Yeah, great, great, great question. Um, I think we're always looking to you know push the ball forward and how we can become more efficient how you know we can introduce new flavors and, and mm -hmm. um, just it's really great to get the different perspectives of other operators yep. here um, I learn something new every day when I'm here and yeah. I think you get that through going to the booths talking with the vendors mm -hmm. but also really interacting with other operators yeah. um, you know we get you know we're wood-fired pizza so we get different wood tips we yeah. um, you, you know we learn a lot about different oven manufacturers we just bought two new you know Fiero 40 ovens last Ford week Ford's uh, Ford, yeah. Yeah. formerly Ford's 40 um, so I think there's so much that can can be gained potentially I think we're always looking to improve our quality but then also how we can analyze the business how we can view the business through you know the lens of other operators um, it all just leads us you know going back to Seattle more motivated for growth Absolutely. and success and um, giving yeah. our customers the product they deserve yeah. and we've brought down man there's nine of us here from okay. our company and it's good just a, it's a good morale boost for our employees they really see outside of our bubble what it's like and meet other pizza operators and meet other employees that you know owners bring down and it's just mm -hmm. they have been absolutely jazzed and it's a lot of their, their first time being in Vegas in general yeah. And so oh, it's like, yeah. wow, company trip. And so it's like for our for us, it's like, yeah, like, hey guys, you perform well, do great. Like maybe we'll go to Vegas to Pizza Expo. Yeah. And so we use that as an incentive to yeah. our guys. And it's it's just been a lot of fun just to yeah. see what's going on here in our industry. Absolutely. So tell me. Uh, with with your business because you are growing rapidly, you know what does the next year look like for your company? Oh man! So, so we are going to hit <laughs> we are going to hit the century mark in employees. We're going to be at a hundred employees wow. this summer, which we're, we're super excited about. But um, also, wow, the labor market. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I you know we're this new pizzeria we're going to be opening in in, in Bellevue, Washington. It's going to mm -hmm. be about uh, six thousand square feet that we're in charge of, and we're okay. coming out of uh, pizzerias that are three hundred and six hundred square feet. It'll be, the, it'll be all of our units combined square footage wise. It'll be bigger. Wow. So it's like so oh man, it's a it's a new leap, it's a new journey. Yeah. Um, but we continue to learn, continue to push the envelope, mm -hmm. and uh, this will definitely be a year of growth um, and execution for us. Mm -hmm. We're also going to be doing over a hundred wood fired wedding caterings this summer. Okay. That is uh, a, a new record for us as well. So we kind of have the different facets of the business. Yeah. Yeah. We're all growing. Um, we continue to add great people to the team. We, yeah. just, we just just recently bought another food truck as well. So oh, we've been wow. adding to our mobile fleet. Yeah, it's just yeah. been it's been insane. It's been a lot of growth. It's going to be a busy time, but it's also a, a very exciting time as well, yeah. Denise. Yeah. Now, you know, talking about that kind of growth and that kind of expansion of your your team, you know, how are you working to scale up for that? You know, how especially considering we have a labor crunch no. going on, no. like like how are you working to to scale up so that to that 
A, the, the people will be there for that expansion. Yeah. Well, really what we've been doing, we found successful is we, we hold, uh, host job fairs. And so mm-hmm. that's been really good. We, we try to get the word out to the community as best we can. Like, hey, we're going to have a job fair from this time. And we have, yeah. we'll have 20, 30 people show up. Um, you know, so a lot of times that's the younger people, um, maybe coming out of high school or what or whatnot. But it's that's been really effective for us is to kind of do like that. And obviously just recommendations from mm-hmm. good employees we have. And they like our culture so much and they just recommend. But yeah. By fostering a good work environment and a great team atmosphere, we've gotten our best outside hires from mm-hmm. recommendations of our current staff. Oh, well, sure. And so we've really yeah. had to double down on that. Um, and we're continuing to get good people in. Definitely job fairs can be yeah. hit and miss yeah. in some, to some extent. But um, we've been able to continually find great people and yeah. we yeah. promote from within and it provides more opportunities you know you get to come to vegas potentially if you do great yeah, so yeah, everybody you loves go. that I, I think a lot of it too is to our, our labor model and how it works and where we have no front of house back house differentiator in terms mm-hmm. of tips and okay. so like our, our employees like from a 17 year old high school kid to our you know mm-hmm. a 30 year old chef they make yeah. really good money with the tips oh, and so it's sure. kind of lucrative in that aspect yeah. as well okay that works okay yeah. my last question for you is all right we're we're getting closer to wrapping up from day one, right? Yeah. Like, uh, so what's been a great takeaway from today? Man, for me, um, what's really cool is, you know, we I started coming to Pizza Expo. This is my fifth time. Um, I think your guys' is third time. What's really cool is, you know, when I was competing my first time and then now seeing, like, our managers compete. Yeah. Um, and that my manager, our manager was, was so nervous going to pizza. Like, man, oh, you make I pizzas bet. every day, <laughs> all day. Like, yeah. you're good, bro. Don't different worry. Different stage, you know. different right. stage. Yeah. And so it's just cool to see, like, have that competitive nature of the competitions. The IPC yeah. is one of my favorite parts about Pizza oh. Expo. Obviously, all the vendors and all the friends you meet, but yeah. the IPC is just, it's it's hard to, hard to beat. And going over to the sample side of the table. Yeah, that's oh. right. Grabbing the I'm pies. I'm not going to say I haven't already had four of the, oh, they were little slices. Okay, <laughs> yeah. they were little, but I had four. Already. There you go. Well, saying. those four were really like one or two. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, you'll be okay. So well, thank you yeah. so much for yeah, coming thank on the you. show. Appreciate and it. And I hope that uh, the next couple days here are really fruitful for you and your team, and that you guys just continue to knock it out of the park. Awesome. So thank, thank you, Denise. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Baccio is celebrating its 10-year anniversary, a decade of exceptional Italian pizza cheese, unmatched consistency, and partners that have become family. If you haven't had the chance to try it, purchase Baccio today and enroll in the Gold Club to receive cash back for every pound you buy. That's right, get rewarded for every single pound of cheese purchased. Schedule a demonstration at BaccioCheese.com slash hot slice to learn more. Pizza is your legacy. Build it with Baccio. Performance Food Service is proud to deliver high quality products, innovative technology, and custom operational solutions to restaurants of all sizes across the country. The flagship division of Performance Food Group, with deep roots in the restaurant industry, Performance Food Service has been the exclusive distributor of the Roma family of brands for more than 65 years. This signature relationship has allowed Performance Food Service to become a leader in the pizza and Italian segment of food service nationwide. I'm Jennifer Howell, and I'm with Catch a Fire Pizza. We're located in Cincinnati, Ohio, and we have a location within Oakley, Mad Tree, and we also have a Blue Ash location, and we are opening another one uh, beginning of fall, and that's going to be in the Lebanon location. Yeah, and, and your two locations you currently have, mm-hmm. um, you know, I, you know, I've been to one, and the other one's inside of a brewery, so uh, if you don't know what Mad Tree is, Mad Tree is a brewery, a huge brewery, like, um, and so with the two different locations, you know, that's a very different, it's two very different setups. Um, what's that like for your team, and, and how are they able to maneuver between the two different styles of of operations. Yeah. Well, it's definitely a different style completely because yeah. within the brewery, we're doing more of a cafe. Yeah. So it's a, a limited limited menu, a little mm-hmm. bit less, you know. Yeah. Um, and then in our standalone, we have a little bit larger menu yeah. and more flexibility be, to gotcha. be creative and yeah. offer, you know, um, additional dishes like the small plates or the yeah. starters and things that we wouldn't do at the cafe as much. Gotcha. But, um, but both of them have a lot of the same mm-hmm. things too. So... Oh, all so brunch at both of them, which is a lot of fun. Brunch yeah. on a pizza, so mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But, um, and then the training is the same. You know, they're yeah. learning all of our, st- our style of pizza, and they're learning what we do, and mm-hmm. the culture is the same at both places. Yeah. So now those with, are the things we keep. With the third one coming up, uh, A, how close are you to the, the opening of that? Uh, and how are you going to ramp up to, to get the staffing and get everything ready, especially when that's, that's off in a northern suburb of Cincinnati, right? So it's exactly. a little further away from your current locations. Yeah, it is. Um, definitely more north of Cincinnati. 
but it's in a great new spot where they're building. Uh-huh. So they have a new apartment complex, and it's off Broadway. It's a main area of Lebanon. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there's going to yeah. be a lot of foot traffic as well built in, which is wonderful. Yeah. But um, the difference, it's going to be its own style. This is the fun oh, part that we're excited about. So it's kind of like a mashup of the two that we currently have, the uh-huh. Oakley Mad Tree Cafe and then the standalone Blue Ash. We're going to put those together, mm-hmm. and we're going to have a style where you can actually walk up and make okay. your order, but then when you sit down, you'll have a server who's actually then taking care of you. I am seeing that yeah. quite a right. bit where it's like, it's changing up the front of house to A, limit the amount of front of house that you need on staff, but also keeping the hospitality element because that's yes. something that a lot of people, when they switch to the, um, you know, switch to fast casual or a counter service, they're like, well, how, you know, I built my business around uh, customer service and hospitality. How can I bring that into that environment? So right. sounds like an interesting, um, an interesting meld with that, with that on front of house. Yeah. Um, and that's what we're hoping that comes combination will do it'll make it a little bit quicker for yeah. you to be able to order and get your food but then when you sit with friends and yeah. family you yeah. can still stay and yeah. not have to get back up either yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know exactly. you're, you're getting to hang out so oh, I'm excited for that'll the, new, be good. the new model and what's that, what's that going to be like with staffing uh you know are, are you are you feeling that crunch and um and and how is it going to be to add another what you know 40 bodies right. you know 20 because that sounds like <laughs> yes. a big location so you're I mean you're talking about quite a few quite a few team members you know how will that be ramping up to that yeah it is definitely a big location it's a large location just as big as the blue ash if not a little bigger yeah, and that's a big spot and it's a big with spot with lots of outdoor <laughs> and we will have an outdoor bar as well okay. in the new location okay. so gotcha. and it's going to be about 50 more people Mm-hmm. that we're adding in. Oh, wow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so our HR <laughs> is definitely working on it, um, and, and we'll be ramping up. But what we're doing to prepare for that right now is, mm-hmm. is training and manuals yeah. and processes so that yeah. we can say, hey, we're do, we have a great culture going on in Oakley and Blue mm-hmm. Ash. Yeah. Let's bring that same how can we duplicate yeah. that? How can we do our training and ramp up yeah. for that? But yeah. we're working on it. <laughs> gotcha. We've already broke ground. Yeah. So, and they've already started, you know, we're going to go on a field trip actually next yeah. week. Good. <laughs> we're going to post pictures on social media. So, so that'll um, be good. But yeah, we're, we're getting there. Well, we are actually on the show floor today. We're, uh, it's, it's Wednesday at the show, so it's a huge day at Pizza Expo, uh, and the show floor is just lively. And so you've been here for a day now. You've had a chance to get around the show floor a little bit. Um, you know, what are the things, may, not, not the companies, but like the, uh, what are the types of things that you're looking for um, to help and improve Catch a Fire? Like, what, what's, what's on your mind when you're out there? Yeah, well... This experience has been wonderful, okay, (laughs) is what I can say. I mean, any person that's in pizza whatsoever in any aspect needs to be here. Yeah. And I can see why people return year after year. Yeah. 100%. But um, I'm the director of marketing at Catch a Fire Pizza, so... The seminars have been incredible. Oh, good. Incredible We're glad you're when them. it comes to marketing on, on the social media side mm-hmm. of it and, and reaching your customers and, um, and the stories that I'm hearing from business owners yeah. are just, and yeah. their journey, their journey has yeah. not been just one straight path, but a journey of growth as mm-hmm. well. And I think yeah. marketing has played a huge role. Absolutely. in their growth because they grew their business and then through marketing they've grown it even more mm-hmm. so I would say so you guys know a little yeah. something about that at Catch Fire right <laughs> we're uh, trying yeah, yeah. I mean, you, we're you've trying. got a very good uh, social footprint <laughs> you've got a very good uh, neighborhood marketing opportunities you know there because you know Blue Ash is so neighborhood driven yeah. uh, same with Oakley uh, and you're able to to catch that you know what um, what's your marketing focus? You know, what, where are you putting your energies right now with yeah. marketing? Oh, I love the question. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Well, first and foremost, foundation wise, we wanted to look at all of our online footprint mm-hmm. and just make sure that it reflects like 
it, just even the correct information, yeah. our correct website, our correct menus, you know, mm -hmm. and we're always online responding as well. So yeah. we're using that as a communication tool too. Yes. But um, right now our focus it yeah. has truly been more in com um, creating community partnerships okay. with businesses. We've reached right. out to other small breweries as yeah. well as other local businesses, the mm -hmm. high schools. And what type of partnerships are you doing with these, with these community partners? Are you, are you, you know, partnering with the food, not the schools, but right. with the, with the other businesses? Are you partnering on food, or are you partnering on events, or what, like what are those partnerships like? Yeah, so events have definitely been one. Mm -hmm. um, we're talking about this summer to do yeah. an acoustic summer series. I like that. So we're gonna have some live music. Um, and then we'll also feature a different brewery with different pints mm -hmm. as well. Oh, nice. Um, we have a bottle shop in our Blue Ash. I don't know if you yeah. remember seeing it. Yes, that. I yeah. do. I do. I, so. I was tempted to take a bunch home with me. Where are you? Good. <laughs> That's what we, we want. We were right in the height of the pandemic, and <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, I kind of would like to stock my fridge. Yeah, <laughs> so, uh, yeah but um, Jeff and Melissa Lefford, they really yeah. curate what, uh, yeah, they do. what craft beers are going to be mm -hmm. there, and, and it's local. We're looking mm -hmm. for, like, local. Local as well, yeah, and wine we have yeah. in our bottle shop. Yeah. So, uh, with that, we thought well, let's do some events where we can feature some partners. It's a win-win. Yeah. We're in the same community, yeah. So we're just trying to um, do That's some excellent. things we can do together. We've done some food collaboration too, yeah, yeah. and that's been fun using oh, that's their. Great using maybe their uh, beer within some of our yeah. pizzas or a special. Oh, that would be good. Uh, you know, we, <laughs> we do know a little bit of something about uh, people that are adding beer to their dough, too. Oh, if yeah? If you ever wanted to experiment with that, we, we know some folks. Yeah. So. I think we have. Yeah. All right. We have a recipe. <laughs> yeah. So if you don't know, yes, behind I know the, with Mad Tree for sure, we've done the several camera, collaborations. Behind the camera, we have, we have several folks from, uh, <laughs> from Catch a Fire. So you brought, you, brought a, you brought a whole crew with you to, to Pizza we Expo. Did. Uh, you know what? What's what are their roles at Pizza Expo? What are you What are you hoping they get out of the show? So um, we've got Bradley Wanker here, Mitch um, Bruns mm -hmm. Bruns. I say it wrong each time. <laughs> I don't know. And then we've got Danetta as well. And yeah. um, honestly, I think it's opened all of our eyes to see pizza, the career that we're involved in. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's uh, that's what I'm feeling. At least it's not just a job, but there's mm -hmm. so many areas of it making an impact. Everyone loves pizzas, and yeah. I'm hearing the impact stories. That it's, yeah. it's not just a job; it is a career. It is a change that we can make. So. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think they're getting that. Yeah, and you <laughs> said you were in on my women's panel. So, I mean, oh, yeah. all the women up there, they started out as dishwashers and, yeah. uh, you know, and working back of house and doing those kinds of things. So, you know, you just, you can grow through your career. So I love that you you guys have brought them. You're investing in your people, which yeah. is an amazing thing. Oh, yeah. and kudos to you guys for doing Aww, that. Thank so. you so much. And well, I do think they'll bring it back to everyone else, all that excitement yeah. of the industry to say, this is exciting. There's a lot yes. going on here. So Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking some time <laughs> from the show floor and from education uh, to come into our podcast studio and talk to us. And I hope you have a great rest of your show. And we'll be back up to Cincinnati, I know. Yes, please come see us. You know you have pizza on the house. Anytime yeah. you're there, you come. Yeah, it was excellent. I remember that pizza. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Thank well, you. thank you so much. Thank you.